now that Viktor Yanukovych is no longer in power in Ukraine, there is fear and elation, I guess, depending on which side of the question you're on, that Vladimir Putin and Russia may start using the Russian military to enforce and or exert power in Ukraine. There are already conflicting stories about this. President Vladimir Putin yesterday, uh, well, technically, I guess Wednesday, Wednesday in Russia, but it was still technically yesterday here, but really kind of today. Anyway, within the last 24 hours, ordered uh, military exercises in Western Russia near the Ukrainian border. Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said in a televised statement that the exercise is intended, quote, to check the troops readiness for action in crisis situations that threaten the nation's military security. There was no specific mention of Ukraine and tensions, of course, remain high with the fleeing of Viktor Yanukovych to eastern U eastern Ukraine at a minimum and then potentially at some point into Russia. Uh, the senior Russian lawmaker also said that there is a naval base there within the Ukraine that uh, is Russian and that they may use that to help protect Russians who are in Ukraine. The problem is that there's video which purports to already show Russian military within Ukraine. I'm going to play the video here for you. And these are uh, the, these are said to be Russian armored personnel carriers that were briefly stationed in central Nakimov Square in Sevastopol on the Crimean coast before heading to the Moscow House building, according to Interfax News Agency. And a quote that we have from from a source close to senior officials in Russia's Black Sea fleet said there have been movements of certain vehicles as part of anti-terrorist measures to protect the Russian facilities. This is very interesting because on the one hand, we hear the uh, Russian ambassador to Canada, for example, say that even suggesting Russia might move troops into Ukraine is uh, an insult to the intelligence of Canadians. That's a quote from the ambassador to Canada from Russia. At the same time, we hear about military exercises near the Ukrainian border and we have video of what is being reported as Russian troops already in Ukraine. Lewis, do you think that a Russian military presence involved here and in what's happening in, in Ukraine will be a positive thing or a negative thing for the long term stability of Ukraine? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, yesterday we talked about those who are looking to seize power in the Ukraine. And uh, would I rather have the Ukraine be under Russian control than in the, the hands of Nazis? Uh, yes, I would. So I, I think it all depends, even if it's the same uh, Cossacks who are anti-Semitic. I mean, I don't know. It, we're, we're now talking in, in shades of gray. I think if we take a step back for a second, there is really no reason if we go all the way back to the beginning of the Ukrainian situation. There's really no reason that there could be more official ties to the European Union and at the same time still maintaining relations with Russia and Vladimir Putin. Of course, the the instant that the conversation started with regard to trade arrangements and closer alignment with with the European Union, it was not seen as the type of choice where, well, we could do a little bit of one and a little bit of the other. It became immediately a one or one or the other. This is what caused tensions to rise and immediately caused all of these protests. So we're going to follow what the Russian involvement will be here. There is no question at all that Vladimir Putin would love to exert more influence over Ukraine and to have closer alignment, particularly when you see a situation that has been destabilized, the best opportunity to be seen as coming to the rescue, as it may be, when there are these types of uh, uh, shifts in governments around the world are uh, what when there is when you have the opportunity to frame yourself as the rescuer to the local people. And there's no question, whatever you think about Vlad Vladimir Putin, he knows that and he's going to take advantage of that as much as he can. Right. But I would say that the majority of of Ukrainian people uh, would not view him that way in that light if if he were to uh, quote rescue uh, <laughs> Ukraine.
Yeah, I don't I don't have polling to, to tell me exactly how they would see it, but I think that would be it would be an interesting conversation for sure.